What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Pay attention at all times while protecting your CDL. In this clip right here, this gentleman explains an incident that happened to him that unfortunately he lost his license for a year. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. I normally don't make videos like this. I'm more of joking around and stuff, but I'm telling you guys this because I know it'll help some people. Some people may already know, but as you can see, my truck is cleaned out right now. My CDL is currently suspended for one year. Now, hold up before you start, bro. This, what? I need clarification, guys, from TikTok. TikTokers, I need to know why do y'all stop and start the camera on every sentence? Like, y'all stop it. And then y'all push record again, like what? Y'all trying to figure out, uh, try to get your mind right on the next statement that you about to say? Why do you guys do that? Let me know in the comments below. Back in August, I want to say, I was making a delivery to Gordon's Food Service in Lithian Springs, Georgia. And there was, I was on this road that had traffic going one way and traffic going the opposite direction. And... There is, uh, they were doing some type of road construction and, um, they had an automatic flagger. If you guys don't know what that is, that's what that is. So as I'm approaching the machine, the machine is letting all the traffic go by. And, um, there's like a couple of cars in front of me and they had, they pretty much had the green light. Well, when I got up to the front, the machine turning yellow, so it's getting ready to turn red, but I didn't stop. I went through and the machine, the machine has an arm on it. So that arm was up. So again, when it turned yellow, the arm is getting ready to come down, but I had a trailer. So the arm came down on my trailer and I pretty much broke the machine. So I end up paying the citation. They end up writing me a citation for $750 and they still suspended my CDL even though I paid. So I knew I fucked up. I'm not trying to blame or point my fingers at anybody else because I knew I fucked up. So anytime you get a citation, don't pay it, get a lawyer and try to fight it off. So shout out to DJ on here for helping me because Again, the same thing I'm telling you guys, he told me the same thing. So, I, I mean, again, I didn't know as far as paying the citations because I don't get citations a lot. So, I didn't know anything about that. But don't pay it. Get a lawyer and try to fight it. So, a lot of people don't talk about this topic on this app. So, that's why I'm telling you guys because, again, I didn't know. So, you get your CDL, protect your CDL at all times. Don't be doing nothing stupid. Pay attention to what's going around you because they're not playing games. When so with that said, bruh, with that said, I am so sorry that had happened to you. Um, use this as a teachable moment because a lot of times you're not going to get that kind of information on this app. I'm just saying. Maybe YouTube, but there's a great debate on YouTube uh, with drivers that say pay the ticket and don't pay the ticket to fight the ticket you'll come out a lot better a lot of the times the the dot officers or the cops will pull you over and be like yeah we're just going to go ahead and give you a warning some drivers would take that as yeah you know i'm good with that i'm just going to get a warning i'm not going to get nothing on my license but nine times out of ten it'll be on your csa score depending on who gives the ticket that's the great debate with us truckers over here who gives the ticket like if a dot officer writes you a warning of course it's going to be on the dot citation paper 
and it's going to show up on your CSA score anyway. And then a lot of drivers will just say, yo, just give me the ticket and I'll just go to court to fight it. Well, how are you going to go to court to fight it? Well, you would get a company called Legal Shield or uh, a truck, uh, trucker's lawyer's membership plan. Your company should have offered that. But not all companies offer that. I was offered it. I took it and I pay like $50 a month for it. It's, it's called Legal Shield. Look it up. Legal Shield. Never had to use them. <laughs> Knock on wood. Never had to use them. But if in any case that I need them, I got them. So Legal Shield. But yeah, man, in, in situations, you know, you, you might... You know, you might just say, hey, just give me the ticket and I'll just go ahead and try and fight it. Um, unfortunately for you, though, I mean, bruh, yellow, you know, sign was turning yellow and you just kind of kept going. I'm, I'm really am. I'm, I'm sorry for your inexperience, but you really should have stopped. You know, you really should have stopped. We going to get pulled over and we going to get a ticket, a red light ticket. It's going to cost a lot more in a semi-truck. I'm just saying. Going to cost a lot more. Going to hit them CSA score. There's going to be some points on your license. So, yeah, hook up with Legal Shield and see if they can, you know, either get it reduced or get it thrown out. Nine times out of ten, the, the officer won't even be there. I'm just saying. Drivers, what's your thoughts about this in the comments below? Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you love me all night?